Hi everyone, my name is Eve Birch. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is my floss tube number 13. Um, it's January 3rd, uh, and it has been a month since I've uh, been on floss tube. Uh, December was a really hard month. I, uh, I, I my, my whole family, um, my sister that lives with me, my son, myself, my father, all um, had COVID, and um, we're better now. Um, but the result of that was is that my mom passed away on December nineteenth. Uh, she was sick less than two weeks, and um, uh, we were all very sick, all of us. We were very afraid for my father as well. So it was a really rough December, and I. Uh, we didn't do Christmas, and um, my thought was, you know, now I feel ready to come back on, and my thought was, well, you know, I'll do a review of all the designs that I did last year and show you them. They're on our Etsy site, and you can see them there, but um, I can't because when we were decorating for Christmas that last weekend before we all got sick, um, my mother moved the samples uh, of our of my designs, and I don't know where they are. I've looked for them, but I don't want to disturb my father by going through her things in the room. He's not ready for that yet. So I'm just going to show you my whips. And... Um, some of the patterns that I have here, and I can talk to you about the other ones. Um, I do a small series of uh, patterns. Oh, sorry. They're little, like this. This is, oops, upside down. Um, waiting for Santa. And this one is Silent Night. Um, I was going to... I was going to fully finish these. I was going to make ornaments out of them. But everything happened, and I didn't feel like doing anything. At first, it was because I was sick, and then it was because I didn't feel like it. Um, so um, we do have one. Sorry about the bouncing. I put something under there, and I bumped it. Um, we do have one for um, Valentine on there that's a little one like that. It's um, uh, called Heartstrings and then there's a, a duck with little ducklings that's called um, April Showers I think. And then um, I should have been more prepared but I I just decided to do this. So um, uh, we have a uh, you know, some a July 4th one and, and a Memorial Day one and Mayflowers and um, they're on the on the Etsy site, threesisterscreative.com, and you can certainly look at those. Um, I don't have, I was working on this one. I'm going to show you my whips here. Uh, I was working on this one, but I don't know where it is. It was in my project bag, and I can't find it now. It's little, so it probably is in there in between some patterns or something. I don't know. I, I went through it rather quickly. But um, that's Give Thanks, and um, I haven't worked on it in a bit, so um, I don't know. I'll find it. <laughs> um, so I didn't do from the seventh until this past week. I really didn't do any cross stitch. I tried, but um, my heart wasn't in it, and um, my eyes didn't want to work. And um, COVID does some weird things to your brain. <laughs> so, um, so I um, I didn't really get much done. Um, I did do some on this. Um, here's the pattern. I made the picture. It's 
Star Wars by Disney Stormtrooper. It's obvious it's a Stormtrooper. Um, but I, I, I think I did um, a lot over here from last time. I'm sorry. Over on this. Okay. Um, but I was going to do that for my son for, for Christmas. And, you know, best laid plans. Now, I haven't done any work at all on this one. It's a DMC pattern called Black Quail. And it's a freebie. That's why I'm showing the pattern, because I don't have a picture. And um, I haven't done any work on this one at all. This is Turtle. I know, imaginative title here. Also a freebie from DMC. Um, and then um, when I show you this one, I'm also going to show you something else. So I haven't done any work on this. It's a long time since Halloween and I was trying to get other things done. So this is what it is, Black Cat, which is I think going to be pretty cool once I finish it. Um, but the reason I was downloading those freebies is because I, you know, needed, I wanted some things to work on during, um, the October Witchy Stitchy, uh, 2020 challenge. And I got in my free needle minder for finishing the, you know, working, doing that all month. Isn't it cute? And I think I'm going to take off this E needle minder off of here and put it on a different pattern that I'm... You know, I know I'm not working on this one, but I might. I might actually end up putting this on my... I can't get these apart. Wow, this is sad. The magnet is... Oh, there. So, there. Itchy stitchy. I should probably put it on my Halloween gnomes, but, yeah. I didn't think of it. I thought of this one. And um, I did do work on this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this E. We have letter, letter needle minders. I know it's broken because I dropped it from a height, and we have tile floors. But they're glass. But, um... Uh, those are on our Etsy site. My sister made them. But I did some work on this. Um, I finished the stock. I haven't done the corn yet, but I finished the stock and I started on the on the pumpkin. This is one of my own patterns called In the Cornfield. Okay. I've been working on that a little bit this week and um, you know, not a lot of progress. I'm still taking care of my dad and stuff. He's doing great, but um, he, has a, he had other issues before. So um, so this is a gnome, and I've done this leg. I finished this leg, and I started on this leg. I think I had only done a little bit of that on the last one. And that's Halloween Gnomes by... Ursula Michaels for imagine, imagine, Imaginating, which is hard for me to say because it's not a word. And that's all the, all the uh, works in progress that I have. But um, on the Three Sisters Creative YouTube, uh, I was going to make four patterns. Um, and we were having a a giveaway of one and then um, you could go buy it on our Etsy site if you wanted it. Um, so this was the first pattern that I did um, for the first week of Advent. And then um, the next week I did this one. These are, you could do them as five separate or as a whole. And um, we haven't given this one away yet. So if you like it, go to the Three Sisters Creative YouTube. The I believe it's the... 
I don't know which number it is, honestly. I'm sorry. It's the second to last one that we've done. We will eventually start that up again, but my other sisters living with us um, uh, got COVID even just really, really bad. And uh, she's still trying to recover from that and from the stress. She was the one that handled most of the stuff with my mother. Um, and it took a lot out of her physically, which means that COVID is hitting her harder. So I don't know when we'll be back, but I do have two other patterns almost ready. I was almost done with them, and uh, everything happened. Um, and then uh, um, something weird happened. I am using a Dragon Touch. Uh, I'd never heard of the company before. I'm using a, a, a larger tablet. I don't remember the size. And they um, they contacted me by letter and said, if you go and review us on Amazon, if you like the product, it, you know, if you have any problem, call me. But if you like it, go and review us on Amazon, and we'll give you a case and a screen protector and a memory um, chip. I was like, I already have a case and the screen protector. I bought those the same day buy the memory chip for free for just writing a review why not right so I was anticipating it they said my package was on the way and I was not excited exactly but you know cool I was just starting to get pneumonia when when I got that letter I think <laughs> and so um, you know hard to be really excited about anything but um, my package came and it was huge and I was like and it was the wrong shape I was like what is going on here well they didn't give me my memory chip or my case or my screen protector they gave me this isn't it cute I don't know what I'm going to do with it I haven't even charged it but um, I got a free tablet <laughs> For filling out a review it didn't cost anything. Um, as uh, my sister and I started, sorry, I hit the stand that's holding the that's holding the tablet. Um, just a few days ago, uh, my sister and I were getting well and better and not contagious anymore, and. Um, she needed something from Hobby Lobby, so I took her. And uh, I said, well, um, I'm going to go look at the fabric. I don't need any fabric. I have fabric coming out my ears, but I'm just going to go look. I'll get enough for one bag, you know. But it was the first time in a while that I felt good. So here's what I got. I got this zebra fabric. I didn't get anything to go with it because I didn't like anything. Um, I might have something that goes with it here and you know I don't. Um, but you know the store is always there. I got this cool llama fabric. There wasn't very much left on the bolt and I said ah, just give it to me. I'll find something to do with it. And I got this to go with it because it goes pretty well. And then um, I got this Paris fabric. Isn't it cool? Um, I have some Paris fabric that looks very similar to this. It's pink background, black Eiffel Towers. But it's just a little swatch and it's been cut into as a matter of fact we have some needle minders up of the scooter from that um, but um, I I thought well that's kind of valentine -y, right I didn't like their valentine fabrics they were real hearts and, and I don't I didn't like it. so 
that's my Valentine stuff. I might make that. I might make it before Valentine's. Maybe, maybe not. And then I bought this unicorn fabric. Wait a minute. I gotta get some whole unicorns up there so you can see. And I know that it's very, um, not exactly juvenile, but young. And um, that's okay because I know a lot of adults that like unicorns, but, um, um, you know, most of us, because we love crafts and cross stitch and projects and, and you know, stuff like that, um, we teach our children. And, uh, um, you know, it might be nice to be able for a young person to have something to hold their stuff in. And, um, um, it can be used for so many other things, just, you know, bag to carry, books or whatever. They're pretty sturdy. I didn't find a coordinating fabric, but I think I have, I have one here, so I said, well, whatever. And then I found this really cute chick peep fabric. And I got this yellow to go with it. I'm oh, sorry. There we go. I think it goes okay. I was worried about the dots and the gingham pattern. And then I said, hmm. it looks it looks good to me. So that was my first oops. First day of retail therapy and it felt good. Um, I wouldn't have bought it. I, I actually put back a whole bunch of them. Um, but it felt good, and it was a good day. So um, it was nice to be able to, to feel normal. So um, that was a good day. And then today, no, when I bought the, when I got the Witchy Stitchy, Needle minder, um, I bought this. Now, it's just the bottom. I'm going to make the little drum. I didn't want to get the whole thing because I would never finish it. Look at all the projects I have that are partially done. And um, I want to be able to finish it by next Christmas. So so I, I just got one row. I think I keep hitting the, if it bounces, I'm sorry. I have this weird little spider thing that holds it up. So um, then I was on uh, Stitching with the Housewives to buy my sister a Christmas present because I, I had intended to buy her some cro a cross stitch pattern, but I never, I never got around to it. And, um, when I was buying hers, I saw this one that I fell in love with last Easter, and um, you know, if I've loved it that long, I should get it. And while I was looking for patterns for my sister, I was on a tiny modernist site, and I found this free little Scotty dog. Isn't he cute? The dog looks very, very much like, like my dog. Now my dog isn't a Scotty; she's a Terrier-ish. She's brown. <laughs> she, she's a mixed breed dog that my, uh, my son's friends found in a park, and they couldn't keep her. And uh, my son wanted her, and that was the best decision I ever made. She's a great dog. Uh, she's naughty. And I'm not good at training dogs, but she's a great dog. Goes with me everywhere. Anyway, um, that's all I have. Um, I'm planning to be, you know, good about doing it every week again. Um, but uh, things are still very fluid here, but getting better. 
and uh, I'm hoping to have lots more prog progress for next week. And uh, thank you. And have a great day. Thanks. Bye. Oh, sorry. I forgot. Our Etsy shop is Three Sisters Creative. My sister's floss tube is Fanta Stitches, and Three Sisters Creative has a, um, but it's Three Sister Creative, not sisters, uh, floss tube. Um, I will put the links below, but the reason that I couldn't do Three Sisters on floss tube was because there's a Three Sisters channel already. Uh, it, but it's a group of nuns, and they've only done like one video. Sigh. But they got it before I did, so that's the way it works. And uh, so on YouTube, it's Three Sister Creative, and on um, on the Etsy side, it's Three Sisters Creative. All right, and thank you. Have a great day.